Okay. <laughs> Butter is here. I am chilling. I am in my bed chilling today. I have my orange pillow, my purple pillows. If y'all ain't figured it out, those are my favorite colors, orange and purple. Okay. Anyway, guys, I am coming in today to talk to you guys about complaining. <laughs> it sounds funny because sometimes I complain. But what I'm saying, when I talk about complaining, I am talking about not complaining per se about the customers. I'm talking about complaining about Instacart and being an Instacart shopper. Now, don't get me wrong. Things do piss you off, okay? So say, for instance, um, I have been um, on the Facebook um, Instacart um, groups and some of the things that these people complain about is just like crazy to me. They complain about the job, uh, um, about certain orders that don't need to be complained about. I mean, I have complained, but I mostly complain about the customers. And I know I complain sometimes about the small orders, right? And I also do not like doing two um, orders at the same time. And I know some of you guys get three orders at the same time. Now, listen, she's not doing that. Um, I've been getting better of checking my orders before I accept them. So, and then also, um, the other day, I'm kind of going to the left a little bit, but bear with me. Um, especially when they want you to, what store they want you to go to. Cause sometimes you're going to be right out of Stu Leonard's or right out of Whole Foods, but they want you to go to a Whole Foods that's around the corner and down the street. So you have to be mindful of when you, um, accept an order. So all that being said, I was reading, I mean, yeah, reading on Facebook, like, these people are bugging, like they complain about Instacart and how they're going to take them to court and all these different things. Now, let me just say this, and I'm just speaking for me and nobody else. For me, just butter. You can agree with me. You can clap back at me. It's okay. My point is, if you feel like you're being wronged with Instacart, find another job. I can see if they did something horribly bad to you. Um, I know they complain about the pay and they're not getting paid a lot. Usually when people at a regular job, they don't get paid a lot. They find another job or they do not accept the job. Um, Instacart to me is an easy way just to make some money. Um, people do it full time, which is great. People do it part time, which is great. People do it per diem which is great. The way I think that you should look at every job, do the best you can for why, why you're doing it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that you are not going to have different gripes and different things, but it's like, it's crazy because these people be bashing Instacart, bashing them, but they still working for them. Go to Uber Eats, go to Shipt, DoorDash, uh, what else is there? Door, Grubhub. You know, there's so many different avenues that you can go to. Go get another job. Go get a job, a nine to five, if you can find one. To me, Instacart is a place where you need a, a job fast or if you're in between jobs, if you want to buy something, um, you might get into Instacart and love it for full time. People out here are making thousands of dollars a week doing Instacart. Let there be a referral come in and let there be a lot of hours for that week or you get some type of bonus. These checks out here gets real, okay? Even the tips, people give tips. You put into the job, put into the job what you want out of the job. It's just how you do in life, you know? Things will piss you off. Things will make you upset. Things make me upset. For me, is not so much Instacart itself. It's some the customers for me. Because for me, I look at it, if I accept a batch, if they send me a batch and I accept it, then I'm responsible for that batch. If I see a batch that I don't like 
or it annoys me or whatever, then I just don't accept it. You know, I'm like, how are they going to keep sending me the same batch? I'm not doing it. It's as simple as that. And even if they sent me a batch that it's $5, let's just say they sent me a batch and I'm only getting paid $5. If I want to take that $5 batch, then I'll take it. Because again, I know my budget. I know what how much money I need for the week. It, it is what it is. It's up to me, you know. But they, they crack me up. I mean, they talk about Instacart so bad. And I'm not defending Instacart or anything. I'm just saying sometimes, just go and make your money. Make your money. And if you don't like making your money where you make your money at, then find someplace else to go. It's, to me, it just seems simple. Misery loves company. And I'm not there for it. Everybody, again, gets frustrated. They get upset. I know I do. But for me, it's mostly about the customers. <laughs> That's all another situation. What I've heard, um, actually, or what I've read on Instacart, um, um, actually, what I have um, saw on Facebook Instacart, the group, I should say, um, they're rolling out where you can get paid, uh, I guess, the same day. Like if you want some, actually, if you want some money, you want to cash out before the Wednesday payday, then, um, you can hit whatever, um, do whatever and you can get paid the next day. So if your cable bill is due and you short that $50 that Instacart owe you, I know I, they said it's a transaction fee. You can go ahead and do that transaction and the next day your payment will be in your bank account. So it's not rolled out everywhere, but it's a coming. For me, I like to get paid every week. I guess I would use it if my back was against the wall. But yeah. Sorry guys, I this week I I'm not doing much Instacart this week. Um as you can see, I'm sick, so I had took the two days off, Monday and Tuesday. Um it is now Wednesday. What's today's day? Wednesday. The tw today's Wednesday, the 23rd. Um, and I'm not doing Instacart until Sunday. So I'm only going to have one day pay for Instacart this week. Um, the reason being is because I've been sick. And then Wednesday, which is today, and Thursday, I have orientation for my new job. And then Friday, I have some things I need to do on Friday and Saturday. So I'm only going to be able to squeeze in one day. My goal is to at least make a hundred bucks. So for me, if my butt do get a ten dollar gig, guess who might take that gig? Her. Because I know what my pockets need. So with all that being said, do what is best for you. Okay? And it's you don't always need to complain about it. Because you know what? It makes your mouth dry. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me get on out of here. I hope you guys are out there making money, making bonuses, throwing out some referrals so people can um, sign up under your name so you can make some extra change. Do the best you can with these customers and all that positive stuff to make this money. Okay, people? Just make the money. Make the money. If you don't like it, find something else. That's what I always do. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all already know. Butter is out. T-T-Y and all them L's. Get that money L's, okay? <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share. Subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.